you're watching News Mobile. I'm Shivangi Shukla. With every passing day, COVID-19 numbers are continuing to rise all over the world. And in these times, sometimes the line between fact and fiction is blurring. Now, to bust the common myths uh, around the virus, I'm joined by Anirban Mahapatra, the author of COVID-19, Separating Fact from Fiction. Thank you for joining us here, Anirban, on News Mobile. We appreciate it. Thank you it. so much for inviting me, Shivangi. Anirban, let's start with, with the first thing that everyone has in their mind. What are the biggest misconceptions on COVID-19? Well, I think the biggest misconception, if I want to get across, is that uh, it's not a a serious disease. Uh, and a lot of people like, if, even in, even until uh, yesterday, many people were not wearing masks or socially distancing. And they were saying, okay, if less than 1% of the people are dying, uh, then for me, it's not a serious disease. But you can look at all the, the, the images of the people around the world for over a year and what's been happening. And you can come to exactly the opposite conclusion that it is fairly serious that you should take it seriously. You should take measures to protect yourself and your family members. And even if you recover, you may have uh, certain other signs and symptoms that linger, the so-called long COVID uh, or, or post-COVID syndrome, which we're now coming to realize is affecting a large number of people, even those who are asymptomatic. So I would say that's the biggest misconception is that it's, it's definitely not a, a, a mild disease. It's not the flu. Uh, the second misconception is that um, the, the vaccines are not safe at all. Uh, the vaccines are safe. They have been tested. All of the vaccines that have been approved have gone through a rigorous process of testing through trials. Now, some of the vaccines, especially uh, the AstraZeneca and the Covishield vaccine, after it was administered to millions of people, some minor rare adverse events have been found in some people, which is the, the blood clots incident. Uh, that has come up, but this is in younger people, this is in, in females, and overall it's very safe. The risk of getting COVID and getting sick from COVID and dying from COVID is much, much greater. So again, there's no such thing as absolutely safe. Everything carries a certain amount of risk, but I would say the second thing is definitely the vaccines are safe. They are effective in preventing severe disease and, and illness and, and, and death. Uh, some people may get uh, some mild infection after that, but because that was not the main uh, purpose of the vaccine, the main purpose of the vaccine is to keep people alive. And I think that is, that is the, the, the biggest thing. So I would say that is uh, another big misconception. Another big misconception around vaccines in particular is that the vaccines only work for six months or seven months. This is not true. And the only reason um, we know that they work for six months is because they have only been around and injected into people. People have received the jab for no more than a few months. So as the time goes longer, we will figure out exactly how long it is, it is affected for. Uh, and then I would say, finally, there's this misconception that if you get the vaccine, that it is an active infection, that you will get a positive RT-PCR uh, test. But that's not true. If you get vaccinated, you should not have a positive RT-PCR diagnostic test. If you have a positive RT-PCR test uh, after getting vaccinated, then it, what it probably means is that you picked up the virus either before you got vaccinated or a right. few days or a few, few weeks after even. Because I think everybody is now becoming aware that you have to get both doses and two weeks after your second dose is when you get fully protected. So in that time, you have to maintain your measures. And now in my book, I have a lot of other myths uh, that I've covered, but I would say right now, these are the most relevant ones that people should focus on. Right. Of course, there's also this uh, a very uh, famous one that garlic is uh, does protect against coronavirus. And the other one is spraying chlorine and alcohol on the body kills viruses as well. Are these true in any no, way? No, no. And these have been, I've been receiving a lot of WhatsApp forwards like these and like your book gargling this or smoking or drinking alcohol, none of these things. First of all, I think when you receive one of these, you should always think about like, first of all, does it make sense? And if it made sense, then why are you receiving it? And why is, has the rest of the world not implemented it and found it as a 
miraculous cure. Are people everywhere Absolutely. else were like absolutely stupid or they were not realizing it? So I think these are just the basic commonsensical things that we have to ask ourselves when we receive these types of forwards.